Hi everybody, this is Ross Federer with ACMI with Talk of the Town. And here I'm with Lieutenant Brendan Cannon who heads the CPA, the Citizen Police Academy here in Arlington. And um, just start off by telling me a little bit about yourself. Like how long have you been a police officer? Why in Arlington? I've been a police officer for over 19 years here in town in Arlington. I grew up here, so I know the town well. It's been obviously very good to me, so I want to give something back and be here. And I really enjoy policing in a place that I grew up in. And um, tell me a little bit about the Citizen Police Academy and how it got started here. Um, it started a few years ago when um, we were looking to find a way for the community to become more involved, to be able to see what's really happening in the police department, see all these stories across the country and a lot of negative about police. Um, so we thought it would be good for people to actually see what happens inside their own police department here in Arlington. Uh, so we decided to do this. Uh, Captain Curran, Captain Jim Curran, um, is the, took the real lead on it. He was the one running the whole thing, and I helped him with it to get it going. And so we just we put it out, and we got a great response. We got two more people than we could fit in the classrooms. So we had to have a waiting list and everything, which was great. So then we had a full class, and we had people come in that were really interested in finding out what actually happens uh, behind the scenes, and, and for that matter, not even behind the scenes, just what happens on a daily basis out there on the street, what we do. And, and what we actually what actually happens when we go out there and do our policing. And um, this used to be a program that you guys brought back back in 2016, correct? Yes, that's correct. They had they had a program years ago. Um, it had to be around probably 2001, 2002 in that area somewhere. That was that had been popular at the time, but it was just one of those things where there wasn't enough funding. And mm -hmm. like a lot of initiatives that we try to do, it's about funding. And we were able to find the the proper funding for it and enough for it, so, so we're able to bring it back. Awesome. And um, how many people do you think graduate per class? Uh, 20. We have 20, 20 people in each class. That's the limit. I mean, it's just as far as logistically speaking, that's the most that we can have in the class, and, and every time it's full. And what are some of the main goals of the Citizen Police Academy? Uh, the biggest goal is for people to get a realistic, true idea of what happens in the police department be able to answer their questions because most people come in come in with questions for us and every every class without fail goes over time because people have so many questions about it about whatever it is we're teaching that mm -hmm. night so that's our biggest goal is to answer people's questions and let them see what they want to know about the department we have an idea we put out an agenda we you know each class so we know what we want to talk about and we want to try and get across to them but we let them kind of drive which direction it goes as far as we, we try to answer all their questions and let them let us know what information that they want to know. What are some of the topics you guys cover? Like, I know you guys cover like the canine unit and going on um, uh, ride-alongs on we patrol do. and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, we start out with just general information about it. We we let them know what our how our department is structured, and you know what the different roles are in the department and who does what and that kind of thing. So everybody has an idea of the basic workings of how the department is runs on a day-to-day -day basis. And then we also talk about the history of the department like when it started and, and up till now, all the different milestones in the department, as well as we include like policing in general in the history so that they see like where Arlington is in, in its history along with policing itself in its, in its history. So to sort of see where we stand as far as policing in this country through its history. Um, and then we go into a tour of the station so they can see, it's been, it's been you know, redone a few years ago. They remodeled the whole station so everyone gets to see the new station in just different parts that they ordinarily wouldn't see. Uh, most of the people that are in the class haven't been in the cell block or in booking or any of those areas, and they get to see it. Or the detective bureau, they get to see all that. Um, and then from there, we go through basically each phase of the department. We go through what, what the detectives do, going to court, what the patrol officer does on the street, how responding to calls. We do dispatch, like what they do on a daily basis and nightly basis mm -hmm. as far as answering calls and what their role is in, in the whole program, in the whole department. And then we go, we go to the ride-alongs. We let everyone do a ride-along during it. And then it culminates with them going. And we go up to Camp Curtis Field, the Reading Police Academy, and we let them get in the simulator so they can sort of s s not, they can be in scenarios, like real-life scenarios, and see how they would respond in the same situation after we go over like all the things that we would do and talk to them about it um, throughout the course. And then they get to sort of see somewhat of a live action, you know, see what their response mm -hmm. would be in a situation. What kind of simulator is it? Is it like VR or is it like just a... It's, it's more of a 2D. I mean, it's a movie mm -hmm. screen. Mm -hmm. and, um, but you have like actual 
They have OC spray and a, and a firearm that you hold on to that you can actually, you know, use. I mean, it's obviously not a live firearm, mm -hmm. but it's more lasers. But it gives you an idea of, like, where you're aiming and that kind of stuff. You actually used it. And it's, it's a little difficult for them because it is 2D. It's, it's not, it's somewhat responsive. The operator of the, gets to, like, the people will do different things depending upon what their response is, what they say or how they act, the person playing the officer. But... Overall, it's difficult because it's 2D. It's just a, you know, it's just a scenario like on the screen, and you have to sort of respond to it. And um, what, what would you say is like the age demographic of the specific kind of people that go into the Citizens Police Academy? Like, is it a lot of older people? Is it a lot of it's, younger it's people? It's usually or? it's more older people, but we're finding more and more there's definitely younger people getting involved, and we and we enjoy that because then we get more perspective in the class. It's not just one perspective saying, "Oh, this is how things should be." It's you get questions from, from all different. I mean, it's, we definitely had. We had, um, I think the youngest was maybe 20 or 19 this mm -hmm. year, and the oldest was close to 90. So we had a, wow. we had a, a wide, wide array, so, which was good because then we got all different perspectives, mm -hmm. and all the questions we got were from different perspectives. So it was, it was good to, it's as good for us as it is for them because we get to see the public's perspective on mm -hmm. us while they're seeing what we do. And um, would you recommend this program to, say, like, fresh out of school, high school students who are looking to go into police, to the police academy and stuff like that? Or would you recommend Yes, this? I, yeah. I definitely I would highly recommend it to people like that because it, it, it gives a background. I mean, it's not something mm -hmm. where you're going to become a police officer because you were here. But it's something mm -hmm. where you get an idea of, you get to see, you know, start to finish, like, you know, we talk about the academy, we talk about everything, like, you know, what, what it takes to become a police officer, what, what we look for in a police officer, and then what the role of a police officer is in Arlington, and what we actually go out there and do. Mm -hmm. I would say, the, like, one of the favorite things for people is the ride-along, because people get to get out there and really see it. I mean, it's different for us in the classroom to, to say to people, this is what we do every day. And then to go out and ride along, and you know, mm -hmm. when those blue lights come on and you stop a car, you get to really actually sort of feel it a little bit and see what we actually do. What is the fee to join? Is it like just apply and you get in, or is there a little fee to no, do other classes? No, eh? there's no fee for the class at all. Um, there's no expenses for it. You have to apply to get in. Obviously, we do do like a background check. We mm -hmm. say that in the thing. You have to sign a thing just to, just to do a background check to make sure, you know. But no, I mean, the biggest thing we that we really look at is that you're a a, a citizen of Arlington mm -hmm. just right now only mostly because of space constraints like we can't have everybody you know there's not enough room we'd love to but there's not enough room for everybody so one of the biggest things we look at is just that you're a citizen of Arlington we like to try to get those people in here mm -hmm. first is there um, the application deadline is usually between August to it's, somewhere it's usually the in the summer because the Academy usually starts in September sometime mm -hmm. it depends we try to look at the holidays so that we can finish before Thanksgiving so that it's not it's just tough. People have a tough enough schedule as it is getting here, so mm -hmm. we want to make sure it's not during the holidays. So it's usually September to November. So we usually put it out in July, and the application deadline is sometime in August that it has to be in by. And then um, the most recent graduating class just graduated about two weeks ago. Yes. Right? How many? Was that 20 people 20, too? 20, yes. Awesome. Yeah. Is there um, any other programs that residents should look out for? Uh, yes. The other good one that we do is several, but the, another good one that I would recommend is the RAD program. Mm -hmm. That doesn't run all the time, so you have to look out for it a little bit. But that's the uh, rape aggression defense. Um, it's for, for females. It's, they, do a, they do a great job of it here. It's a nationwide program, but we have it here as well, and it, it, they do a great job of it here. Hey, awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Ross Fidea with ACMI and Talk of the Town. And this was Lieutenant Brendan Cannon with the Arlington Citizen Police Academy. And if you're interested, look out for more programs.